All right, good morning. Um, I'm gonna do a walkthrough video on how I start the extrusion line for the day. Um, show you the entire process of start to finish. Um, so let's get right into it. All right, so first step in the morning is uh, we turn on all our machines. Um, this is the roller. This one will turn it on. Um, as long as this black knob is off, uh, the rollers won't actually work. So this kind of just powers it on. And then turning this black knob will actually start the rollers to start rolling. Um, I have it set to my already uh, set speed. Uh, this knob uh, adjusts the speed down. Uh, you can go down to 45, 44. Uh, 50 is the max on this specific machine. Um, and we'll see why we set it at, to 50 uh, in a little bit. Uh, the water bath here, um, you don't really have to do anything. Uh, the only thing you have to do is you have these uh, two metal pins that uh, are guiders that help guide the filament into these little grooves here. So we kind of just take this out first. Um, now, I already started the machine up. Um, the extrusion system, basically, you just turn on in the morning. Um, you let it get to the set temperatures that I have here. I'll wait for it to heat up for about 15 minutes. And then uh, over here is the speed control. So this black knob will control the RPMs. This is the RPMs. It's telling you that it's going forward. Um, so obviously the slower the RPMs, if I bump it down to let's say 12, you'll see that the amount of plastic that comes out is, uh, is not a lot. Uh, this is at 12 RPMs when I bump it up. I'm gonna bump it up right now to 25. You can see the difference. Uh, in terms of how much plastic is being extruded out of the nozzle here. So this is at about 25 RPMs. And last but not least, we have the hopper here. Uh, I already poured in my resin and green master batch colorant. So this was already pre-mixed. Um, I had them in here in these uh, white, or in these clear tubs. So I basically just opened up two of these. I poured it in and I did a little bit of mixing with my hand on the top. So this hopper is pretty much uh, almost full. So the hopper with the resin goes in. Um, we let this run for about, uh, like I said, after this gets heated up, I'll let this run for about 10 minutes to purge out all the old material that was inside of the barrel from the previous day. And so now that we've gotten a nice consistent green color coming out of the extruder, uh, the next part is to basically get this wound up uh, past the water tank into the roller. So, um, not sure how the best way to do this would be, but I'm gonna set my camera here so you can kind of see what's going on a little bit. Um, so, first step what I do is I will, I will lower the speed on the extruder down to let's say uh, 10. Uh, this just allows me to get the plastic that's coming out of the extruder here easier. Uh, because if it's, a, it's a, if it's a, if it's a slower flow, um, it's easier for me to grab. If it's coming out too fast, it's very difficult to pull it across the line. Um, so I will cut it with these uh, cutters, or not cutters. These are uh, uh, the scraping tool, and then I will grab the end of the filament that's coming out like so, put it into the water bath, and then slowly just guide it under the rollers within the water bath. Uh, and right into the rollers. All right, now once that's set up and we have it going into the water bath as so and into the roller, um, I will go ahead and change the speed back up here to my desired speed, which is typically around 31 RPMs. Um, that's typically where I can get at least um, two kilograms an hour. So now that that is running, uh, next part is to uh, put our guiding clips back on there. Uh, there's one there, and there's one uh, right there. All right, you can see that it's rolling properly into the rollers. Uh, the next step, um, I let this run for about a couple minutes because um, I want the temperature of the water bath to be consistent with temperature that's coming out of the extruder so that we get an even diameter of um, sort of uh, that's coming out of the uh, the water bath. Um, so I will take my calipers and I will uh, manually measure 
we're already at about 1.9, uh, 1.8. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. 1.8. Um, anyways, my next step here, uh, after this runs for a little bit, um, you'll see that the temperature of this cold water bath is at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I, it was at 77 at one point. I lowered it to 70 because I think it, was, uh, it wasn't cooling sufficiently. Uh, but anyways, the next step here would be to cut the end of the filament and run it through my uh, dial meter here to uh, get the desired length that I want. Um, typically, if I put the filament through, I want the dial meter to be around point not, uh, around this 90 mark, uh, 90 to 10. Uh, this gives me plus or minus around uh, 1. 1 millimeter in, uh, in variance. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to do this uh, with the camera still on so you guys can see what the process is. Basically just cut the end of the filament, feed it in, and I'll kind of just guide it through for a couple of uh, feet maybe, um, just so I can see what the diameter is. and. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of pretty close already to uh, where I want it to be. So that just uh, lets me know that we're close to 1.75 uh, millimeter in diameter on the filament. Um, so kind of doing this with one hand is a little difficult. Uh, next part is, uh, I'll this just go here, is the uh, spooling. I already have a spool on here. Uh, basically, we'll just grab the end of this filament, loop it through here, put it into the uh, black tape, and then turn on the motors for the... Uh, rolling. All right, we're going to try to do this again. All right, we've got our end of, of our filament here. It's there, and then we just turn it on. And there it goes rolling, and I'll just guide the filament uh, with my hand as it passes through all of the rollers until we get to a point where I don't need to do this. And the speed of the roller, of the winder here, should sort of match the speed of uh, the rollers here, so um, it should be a constant speed. All right, there we go. So there's the winding process. We have some excess uh, filament that we've just been collecting into this bin. Uh, we'll shred that up in the future and, uh, um, and recycle it, recycle this back into the extrusion line. Um, so that's basically the setup of how you start the extrusion line. Um, this is an issue here where it's not level so I probably have to take off these uh, black or these cardboard spools here uh, just so that this thing is a little bit more level as it comes out of the nozzle um, but essentially once this thing is up and running for the day uh, all we have to do is refill the hopper with more colorant and more resin uh, as it gets low and then every 30 minutes or so we have to come here and uh, change out the spool um, and again like I said we've been using all of our uh, sun loose spools uh, they're exact replicas of the Bamboo Labs master spools. Um, here are our, our Bamboo Lab refillable spools. We have a whole box full, more spools there, more spools there. Um, so we have plenty of spools uh, to be winding uh, this filament. Um, the only other thing that uh, would be an upgrade would be to upgrade this dial meter to a laser um, measuring system where it's a laser that will measure the diameter instead of doing it through, through this uh, dial meter here. Um, those do cost about like a thousand dollars, so I don't know if that's worth it to invest uh, at this stage of uh, the business. Um, yeah, hope you guys uh, found this video useful. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, this system right now, as it's running, will produce close to one kilogram every 35 minutes, I believe. Um, how we have it set up with the speeds and the temperatures, uh, that's, that's where we're at. And that's where we're happy with it. Um, 
so yeah, one, like I said, once it's up and running, there's very little maintenance or anything that really needs to get done other than just coming in, changing out the spools uh, every 35 minutes or so. And then we kind of monitor this. Um, again, around this mark here is where it's 1.75, so it'll fluctuate uh, plus or minus this for a while. Um, and then again, as this passes through the water heater here, um, you can see that the temperature is set to 70 degrees on here. It'll eventually warm up as the plastic comes through here. Uh, it'll get to like a set temperature, maybe around 75C or 77C uh, in a couple minutes. So that might also cause a slight variance in the diameter of uh, the filament. All right, so that is the process of how I start up the extrusion line for the day. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below, and I will see you in the next video.